Hello friends, warm greetings from TNV Academy. Today in this session, we are going to discuss about ISO 30500, which talks about non-seaward sanitation system, prefabricated integrated treatment units, general safety and performance requirements for design and testing. So let's begin our discussion. ISO 30500 is a voluntary international product standard published in October 2018 for non seaward sanitation system NSSS that provides general safety and performance requirements for the product design and performance testing prefabricated integrated treatment units that are not attached to a network seaward or drainage system. The standard specifies technical requirements, test methods and sustainability considerations for NSSS. It outlines criteria for the safety, functionality, usability reliability and maintainability of the system as well as its compatibility with environmental protection goals. ISO 30500 addresses basic sanitation needs and promotes economic, social and environmental sustainability through strategies that may include minimizing resources consumption, for example, water energy and converting human waste to safe output. The standard provides safety and performance requirements for the following outputs. Safe solid discharge or reuse. Safe liquid discharge or reuse. Air emission. Order and noise. So let us discuss about what is non-seaward sanitation system. A prefabricated integrated treatment unit with a front-end component toilet facility, a back-end component treatment facility. The system operates without connection to any sewer or drainage network by collecting, conveying and fully treating the specific input within the system to allow for safe reuse or disposal of the generated solid liquid and gaseous output. non sewage sanitation system can be installed in many different places around the world. Both urban and rural communities without access to sewer system and communities and individuals pursuing sustainable sanitation solutions can use NSSS. No sewer sanitation system can be used in rural communities, schools, green buildings, national parks, informal settlements, train stations, train stations, refugee campus, emergency situations, and natural disasters. The NSSS is applicable for both public and private locations. The benefits of NSS are many but most prominent are. The first one is resource. Consumption, predominantly water use, is minimized as many NSS are able to recycle liquid discharge back into the system. Useful byproducts from both liquid and solid outputs, such as liquid and solid nutrients, water for reuse, Material for the generation of fuel and other reusable outputs can be produced. The second one is in adopting ISO 30500 policy makers can really on global expert opinion to ensure safety of the product for its citizens. Manufacturers, regulators and government can tap into update sources of information and experiences without having to expand national resources as ISO standards are constantly manufacturers, regulators and government can tap into update sources of information experiences without having to expand national sources as ISO standards are constantly maintained. Manufacturers will have a blueprint to use to create a product that meets international guidelines, making market entry easier and allowing than to focus on the development of features that will make the product stand out in the marketplace. The expansion of NSS technology will drive innovation and also facilitate cross-border trade as ISO standards provide an internationally recognized system that favors compatibility and consistency while giving customers the reassurance of the ISO name. Toilet users will experience direct benefits from the expansion of NSS. Water relates deaths and rates of infection and contamination from waterborne disease will decrease. Users will have the guarantee of a dignified, reliable, safe, hygiene, order, free sanitation system. Let us now look at the few examples of NSS. The first one is reinvented toilets. 
are a new generation of toilets that treat waste and kill pathogens without the need for connections to sewers, treatment plants, water supply, or continuous electricity. These new toilets use a variety of innovative technologies to break down human waste and destroy germs, leaving behind clean water and solid that won't harm people or the environment. The toilets can be used either for individual households or multiple stall facilities that can serve local communities, schools, apartments, buildings, and commercial enterprises. The second one is biological reinvented toilet. The clear toilet uses a full water cycling process for treatment of the sewage. A rainwater collecting system can also replenish the water to the processor for self renewal. Black water from the toilet is pumped up to the sewage processor for treatment and then recycled to the storage tank for flushing. An advanced unique biofilm MBR treatment process is employed as the core technology for treatment. Producing a stable and clean effluent that is for the disinfectant to ensure safety of the effluent for you to use. The third one is mobile septage treatment system. The Austrian mobile septage treatment system MSTS is a new sanitation system that processes human fecal sludge into non-potable water for agriculture or industrial use or safe discharge. Austra is a truck mounted dewatering system for use in areas like dense urban settlements where poor sanitation poses the greatest risk to human health. The latest generation prototype will be more cost effective, transportable and easier to maneuver in crowded informal settlements than traditional septage collection methods. The fourth one is dry combustion reinvented toilet. Fully self-contained household toilet system Fronted assembles a western style pedestal toilet with a novel waterless swapping flush mechanism and all waste processing components are housed within the pedestal. In the back end solids are extracted by a specifically designed screw, then dried and combusted while liquids are preheated and purified with a hydrophobic membrane. So we have now come to the conclusion of this session. In case you have any queries regarding what we have discussed today, then please put them in the comment section of the video and we will be really happy answering them. Till we meet next, special sources from TNV Academy. Thank you.